<sighs> All right, so Nick DGVianiani sent me some Osmo salt in this video. I'm gonna review it and tell you whether it's worth the hype, worth the expensive price tag, if it even tastes good, and if it's overall worth it. I got like seven things that they sent me that I'm gonna just set out here on the table. And a, an electric salt grinder and electric pepper grinder both came charged which is super nice i'm gonna actually be giving these away um so if you stay to the end of the video i'm gonna tell you exactly how you can win these two because i don't want them <laughs> so we're gonna grade these on two things number one taste and number two smell and you got to keep in mind these are premium salts so they are expensive so we're gonna keep that in mind whether it's a yay or a nay basically if it's a yay that means i'd actually use it nay i would never use it so let's start all the way to the left and first we have applewood smoked sea salt all right so number one smell Ooh, so definitely a strong smoky smell like hickory that kind of like bbq smell um it's very brown let's just give it a quick taste all right definitely taste the smoke kind of a little funky uh so taste one out of ten i'd give it like a six smell actually smells really really good i'd give it like an eight number two we have black truffle sea salt so this one should actually be pretty good because i like truffle open up the seal it is nice and sealed thanks nick for not poisoning my stuff mmm smells super good like legit like black truffle you can see there are little i think little black truffle chunks in there so let's taste oh yeah oh yeah this one is absolutely amazing oh almost dropped it that would have been a mess smell give it like a nine two and taste like a nine three so this is by far black truffle actually really 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 good number three is flaky black sea salt oh wow so this is like really dark smell so no smell doesn't qualify for the test so i'd give that just a zero because it doesn't smell at all and they're like little black pyramids i don't know if you can see that but it's a little black pyramid and they're big flakes so punchy not that salty pretty salty would definitely go good on some steak and look cool so smell nothing taste very very solid like an eight just normal flaky sea salt but really good four is coarse baja so this is something you probably put in the grinder it's just like a coarse basically just big chunky coarse sea salt no smell so give it that zero and then just tastes like regular crunchy salt this one since there's no flavor it's just normal sea salt i would say there's just hype around this because it looks cool and has a cool name so just take that into consideration. Normal sea salt you can buy at the store is probably the same thing. Next we have flaky white. Smell, no smell. Flake size, these are like small flakes, not giant flakes, so I like that. That way they're not too powerful and they break up pretty nicely. Taste, really, really good. Like not too salty. That way you can use a good amount of it and still get some good texture. I'll give this an 8.3 for our flaky white salt. And last but not least, we have roasted garlic sea salt. So this one I have high hopes for. Turn it up. Ooh, ooh, this one. Oh my God. Literally tastes exactly like the, the, the garlic when I braise short ribs and you have those garlic chunks in there and you eat it, that's exactly what this tastes like. So smell is an eight, nine and taste is a 9.1. I still think the black truffle was like legit, 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 really, really good. Probably worth buying. All the other ones, the applewood smoked, I'd say not great. The black flaky is cool, cool texture and has big chunks. So pretty cool. The coarse sea salt you don't need. Flaky white salt is very similar to other salts. Um, but it's still pretty nice. So if I had to rank these, I would go black truffle one, roasted garlic two, and the black flaky three. So those three are probably actually worth the hype and worth spending the money because these are really expensive. This fourth one is just some pepper grind, so nothing too serious. So if you guys actually want to win these uh, salt and pepper grinders, they light up and grind your peppers, um, just comment below 
And in exactly two weeks, I will be picking someone in the comments and giving these away completely free. So hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, Nick and team, thank you guys for sending me these. I will definitely be using them. Um, the black truffle, flaky black, and the roasted garlic are amazing. Guys, like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.